Ryan here with longrangeonly.com. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Gunworks Burdick stock. Now, right out of the gate, I'm gonna make it a little bit muddy because at the time of filming this, you cannot buy this as a component because they're having troubles keeping up with the actual rifles. So right now, if you wanted this stock, you would have to buy a Verdict rifle from Gunworks. Now, if when I'm done with this, it's interesting to you, you can call and ask them maybe when they're gonna start making the stock again. I'm not gonna discuss that because depending on when you see that uh, video, will definitely change when that is going to happen. But you also may want to just call and order a rifle from them. Their rifles, uh, I think what they're doing speaks for themselves. And I've got some videos on the rifles. The Verdict rifle is not going to be a whole lot different other than the stock. That's going to be the main thing that's going to separate it from those uh, the Climber and the Magnus. But I'll just walk through this quickly try to make this as short and sweet as possible. I'm gonna start with the number one thing that I believe sets this apart from other stocks out there, and that is going to be the grip here. They do have a couple different grips. They're replaceable, they're held on with a screw on the bottom, and I think for a ELR rig or PRS rig, uh, tactical type rig, this is about as good as it gets. Now, I do like their newer Nexus stock a little bit better, and there are tons of other stocks out there with vertical grip. For me, the biggest part that, that makes me like it or not like it, or make me makes it so I can shoot it comfortably or not, is the distance between this trigger shoe and here, which is not really talked about much. Everyone talks about the vertical grip and then moves on. That distance matters. Some of these stocks out there are like, they're clear back here and you can't even get your hand rested on it comfortably. Now you shouldn't be putting a deft grip on it, but when you put your hand here, just lay it here neutrally, not gripping it, your index finger should be basically perpendicular to the trigger shoe so that you're not reaching. This is almost perfect. I would say that I have average hands and this is this is almost perfect, but they do make a couple different ones here. It's not like it's super customizable, but it is somewhat customizable. But I do think this is going to be perfect for most individuals. Okay, so that would be the number one feature that I think sets it apart. Let's go ahead and go through the, the rest of it. It is available in carbon fiber or fiberglass. They can do weights of somewhere around three pounds up to six pounds. Uh, based on what your needs are. This one is heavy, uh, right around six pounds. That's what I chose for it. It's a PS, PRS type rifle, even though I don't actively compete in PRS. It comes with a full length ARCA rail, which I think is gonna be suitable to a lot of people because of the way we're shooting now. There are bipod clamps available uh, to make an atlas be able to clamp to it. And then obviously a lot of the tripods now have ARCA clamps so you can shoot this off of a tripod and that's gonna fit right in there. I'm using their M5 bottom metal. It has a barricade stop. I would recommend getting that if you do buy this stock or buy their rifle. It does have accessory mounts built in right here so you can put whatever you want for optical accessories right up here on the front. I'm not using any. It does have QD sling attachments, and then it has other attachment rails right in, built into that. It's got QD sling mounts on the back. It's got an adjustable for cant butt stock or butt pad, which I think for a lot of this position, positional type shooting situation is more important than than prone shooting, but it does still matter for prone. You can get that adjusted so it's perfect in your pocket and it doesn't make it, the rifle want to torque. And then it does have an adjustable cheek piece. This one is very unique. The adjustment is inside, so it's not doesn't have any of the hardware sticking out that you would normally see. It, I've got it mounted really low because I don't, I don't really necessarily believe in adjustable cheek pieces or that we need them. I think they're overrated. I think a lot of people put too much cheek pressure into their gun, which uh, causes vertical at long distance. But, and for PRS type stuff, I don't even, I don't believe a lot of people are shooting 
you know, with that heavy shoulder pressure. Again, I don't think you need it, but in any case, it does have an adjustable cheek piece for those that want it. That, that really is it. Um, the number one reason I think a stock is gonna set itself apart from another stock is the grip angle, the, the comfort level, so you're not trying to torque it like you would with a classic stock. I think, I think we all wanna grab them just because our hands don't fit it very well. You need a little bit of a toe angle here so that you can get adjustment on a rear bag, but it can't be so steep that it causes a lot of vertical when the rifle recoils back and the, and the butt dips down. Again, I don't, I don't know that I really think that you need this, but it's a feature a lot of people want. They've included it, adjustable uh, for cant butt pad. The rail is a very nice feature. Like I said, it fits a lot of situations. You can specify the weight to some extent on what you want. They have several cool colors if you're going to get all hung up on colors. And then it's got the QD sling attachments right here. Quick, easy uh, review, I think. I love this stock. I think it's something that you should look at if you're into the tactical ELR, PRS type stuff and you don't like chassis and you want a somewhat uh, old-fashioned stock with the modern touches that we've become accustomed to. I'll have a link in the description below to a thread on longrangeonly.com. You can head over there, ask me any specifics about the stock that I didn't answer, and I'll try to get those answered as quickly as possible. If you're not a member on longrangeonly.com, it's quick and free and easy to sign up. We would love to have you. There's a lot of great information other than the reviews, and there's a lot of great guys that have a lot of knowledge and experience with equipment that we don't necessarily have. So it, it's a great uh, opportunity for you to join in, you know, with like-minded people and learn stuff or even bring your own knowledge to the forum. Like I said, quick, free, easy, sign up. We'd love to have you. Please like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications so you'll be notified of future video releases. We appreciate you taking the time to watch. Have a great day.